egg, bacon, sausage and beans, and two eggs, bacon, sausage, beans, black pudding, tomato, mushrooms, and fried bread. Bon appetit. Breakfast of champions. That should be breakfast of losers. Ah, I thought I might find you two here. What are you doing here? Oh, that's a nice welcome, isn't it? There's no one at the flat, so I took a wild guess. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't think your flight was getting in till this afternoon. Yes, well, I couldn't wait to get back to the men I love, I hey, darling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You all right? Yeah, yeah. Well, 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 why didn't you ring me? I'd have picked you up. Well, there was a massive queue of taxis. It was just easier. Yeah, but I'd have liked to have picked you up. Well, next time, then. Come on, just sit down. Uh, Roy, can I have a coffee, please? Uh, uh, two, two seconds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? It's a football injury. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's right. Rob did text me a match report. Sounds hilarious. Oh, it, it was, especially when he was on the ball. <laughs> I was the thickness of the crossbar away from being the hero. Oh. Instead of being the man who lost us the game, Rob scored a screamer in the top corner. Uh, well, Rob had a trial for crew, you know. Yeah, look, can we stop talking about Rob? We should be celebrating the fact that you are home and safe. And I'm very glad to be home. Mm. And here's Rob now. Hey, you're back. Oh, hiya. Mwah. This is good news. I've uh, set up a meeting today with Big Sid Ultry. Ugh, that means slimy Sid Ultry. Hey, I've worked dead hard to get him over here again. And he's talking big numbers now, so trust me, we need this order. You could be the one to swing it for us. Oh, well, I don't want to let the side down. Um, I'll have to go back home and get changed. Roy, can you cancel that coffee, please? Sorry. Very well, yes. <clears throat> Let me just step through the door. I've uh, put a proposal together, but we need to have every base covered. Right, OK, well, can you give me ten minutes? Yeah, yeah sure. You can't get changed in ten minutes. I can when it's for something important. What about us? You just finish your breakfast. Mwah. That's one nil to Rob. You got nutmegged. Look, it must have been too soon yesterday, but Tina can take a test every day. Yeah, but what if they all turn out negative? What if she ain't pregnant? Will she be willing to start this whole process again from scratch? You can't think like that. You've got to think positive. You deserve this, both of you. Oh, can you uh, get back for lunchtime? Well, you know, lunchtime's the busiest time of day. Because Tina can only do lunchtime. Oh, well, my dad's got a job on her. He said he'd try and get back, so... Why? What's happening at lunchtime? Nothing's happening. Have you got your pee kit? Yeah. You got swimming today? No gymnastics. All right, well, come on, then. Off you go to school. OK. See you later. See ya. Lunchtime, I'll try my best. That's right. You know... I've got a good feeling about this. Hmm. But I don't know why you keep having to do all these tests. They got their answer yesterday. This is how it works. All right, well, go and do it now, then. No. Why not? Just get it over and done with. Because we said with me at Anna's at lunch. <sighs> Just, all right, tell them then. The what be involved? <laughs> Tina, it's your body. Not where this is concerned, it isn't. <sighs> OK, look. It was negative. You're not pregnant. You've done everything you said you were going to do. Owen's had his money's worth. You don't owe him anymore. But we promised. This is the way we do it. Oh. Goodbye. How am I going to explain this at work? What? I'm sorry, but just don't seem right, you two. Kirk, it's our choice. I mean, did you feel yourself slipping the other way, or did it just, like... Happened when you weren't looking. It's complicated. You're not wrong there. What can I say? I love Maria. Yeah, well, not so long ago. You love Sean. Who are you going to love next week? Maria. Yeah, and that is all that matters. So you don't fancy blokes anymore? Kirk, Liam's eating his breakfast. Yeah, well, he looks confused and all. He's not confused. He loves Marcus like I do. Not so long ago, I thought you fancied me. Never thought you'd fancy my sister. Look, I'm sorry, but I still don't get it. No, no, it's, it's only Kirk. Yeah, but if that's what's going on in his head, imagine what everyone else is thinking. Oh, Carol from the Weather Arms phone while you were out. Oh, really? What's she have to say? She's dedicated a new range of cocktails to you. The loser landlady, the rover's retired, and the bitter and twisted. Oh, it gets worse. Listen to this. The recently disgraced Rovers Return Public House suffered another humiliation yesterday with the disappointing performance of their five-a-side football team. In a close match, the shambolic, squabbling Rovers was deservedly beaten by the impressive Weatherfield Arms. Well, they say bad things come in threes. Why, what's that? Came this morning from Gloria. I don't want to know unless she is languishing in some Turkish jail. Who's languishing in the Turkish jail? Gloria. Or rather, she's not. She's shacked up with some bloke called Hakan in Istanbul and they're selling rugs on the Grand Bazaar. <sighs> I might as well give up. 
First my mother makes me look a right idiot in the pub of the year fiasco, then the footy team turns us into a right laughing stock. Uh, whoa, my Rob was star of the show, and he's taking me for a posh meal tonight. I think I'm going to lie down in a darkened room. And he's giving me the day off to get my nails done and make myself look beautiful. Pays to date the boss. Mm. So is it getting serious between you two then? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Don't want to jinx it, but I think he might be the one. Oh, good, you go for it. She could do with some good news. Hmm. Hiya. Hiya. Hey, did you hear what happened with Maria and Marcus and Jason last night? Yeah, have you seen her? Yeah, I've been texting her all morning. She's not replied. I'm gonna go round later, check she's okay. Yeah. Where are you off to? Just thought we'd do a couple of laps around the red rep before dinner time. Yeah, because you don't want them cooped up in the house all day. Will you let it go? I've told you, I'm not being kept prisoner. I'm walking around a free man. Yeah, I know. Tyrone, I'm sorry. I just meant it's good for her, isn't it, to be out and about and stimulated. Hey, I tell you what, I bet she'd love super tights. Super tights? Yeah, it's like a playgroup for the little ones. They do games, help them develop the coordination. My hope loved it. Katie takes Joseph. Right, I'll check it out. Cheers. Yeah, I best get back. Bye. Bye. How did you get Sid Altry talking about an order this big? Boyish charm and a few white lies. White lies? Oh, I told him we were on the cusp of a major expansion into a second factory. A second factory? Well, clinch this deal and it could happen. Oh. Hiya. When did he feel fancy going out for lunch? Steve, you know we've got a meeting. Rob's done an amazing job to get us this far. We can't lose this deal. This order is very important. I wanted to take you out for lunch somewhere romantic, expensive. I was uh, being spontaneous. Yes, well, can you be spontaneous a bit later, love, please? Well, no, because then that'd be a plan. And then plans by their very nature aren't spontaneous. The clients will be here any minute. Ah, oh, ah, oh, the client. Well, uh, you might be best to uh, relax because you look a bit tense. You are making me tense. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve, can you just go, please, love? This is work, OK? Oh, OK. If that's what you want, I'll uh, leave you to your important meeting. Thank you. Sorry about that. Is the Wilson order gone? Um, Kirk's just loading it now. I want that away before Sid gets here. Ever get the feeling of deja vu? <laughs> Sit down, Tommy. I am. I'm fine, thanks. Hey, do you want a brew? I can stick the kettle on. No, no, it's OK. We're not stopping. Uh, she's coming. Yes. Are you sure, love? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best line I've ever seen here, Mum. <laughs> well, there's no room for doubt there. <laughs> oh, thank you so oh, much. Oh, your baby. Well, I know this is the best news ever, right, but we have to be sensible <laughs> here. Can I suggest that we, we, we keep this to ourselves, all right? at least until we're past the 12-week mark? <laughs> I, know, I know it's not going to be easy, but we have to just keep the smiling inside. Come here! <laughs> oh, well done, Tina. Well done. Uh, Congratulations, you can have a baby. <laughs> Every time I see him, I just want to smash his face in. Well, he treats us like second-class citizens just because we're in packing. Fill that box, wrap that package, fetch this here, take that there. That is packing. Yeah, well, a little respect would be nice. Well, he's not nice. He's not nice. At all. Exactly. And if I don't get this lot to clear the road by two, I'm going to be in the doghouse. Oh, shut the back doors, schoolboy error. Uh, you sit tight, I'll sort you. Well, cheers, mate. That idiot would forget his head if he wasn't screwed off.
No one keeps me waiting. No one. I'm always on time, me, always. 25 years in this business, I've never been late. If I got run over out there, I'd have come in here with a broken leg. Well, I'm sure Rob will be here any second. You know how he likes to make a big entrance. Big entrance? I don't soft soap me. He's got two minutes, I'm gone. Well, uh, <clears throat> tell you what, why don't I make us a coffee while you're waiting and uh, you can look over the paperwork. Um, black, no sugar? Milky, two sugars. Right. Biscuit. Mm. Well, where is he? He's disappeared. What do you mean he's disappeared? Well, I went outside and he's not there. Wait, he only left two minutes ago. He took out a box for Kirk. No sign of Kirk, no sign of Rob. Well, that's not possible. Unless maybe he's popped to the cabin or Dev's. Check no one's in. <sighs> this doesn't make any sense. Did you try the rovers or the calf? I didn't think he'd go that far when he had such an important meeting. Can't you call him? Mm, he always left his phone on the desk. Can you just go and check, please? We need him here now. So you calm down. I am calm. I've never been more calm in my whole life. In fact, you should let me out right now just to see how flaming calm I am. I just want you to know that this isn't my fault. I didn't know you was in there when I drove off. Let me out. Not until you stop shouting. Kurt, listen to me. Yeah? I am already late for a very important meeting. I know that this wasn't your fault. In fact, I know exactly whose fault it was. So, please, could you let me out? OK. Thank you. Where are we? On the B6 to one heading to Give me the keys. Look, you strap yourself in. I drive fast. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. And, uh, may I ask you something? Yes, we are together. Just like any other normal couple. OK, he used to be with men, but now he's with me. People change. Why can't anyone understand that? I was about to ask you if, if you... If you let me know if you enjoy the sausages, because uh, I've just changed supplier. Yes, we will. Th th thank you, Roy. So we are... Um... Oh. Could I make a bigger fool out of myself? Yeah. Roy is probably the one person around here who didn't just need that speech. Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, do you uh, want to go to the Rovers? No. Don't see why we should. It is a free country after all. Sean, I hope you can understand how difficult this is for me. No, I don't understand. I am a gay man and I know I will never be anything else. Jason really liked you. I know he did. And I'm so sorry that I hurt him, Eileen. You know, I've seen some disastrous relationships in my time, but this one really takes the biscuit. You're gay, she's straight. It's going to end in tears. One day, you're going to remember who you are and you're going to break her heart. And right now, it's exactly what I think you deserve. Yeah, second thoughts. Let's go to the pub. Too late. We left five minutes ago. I did everything I could bar handcuffing to the radiator. I wanted you. Mm. Where were you anyway? Ask your boyfriend. What? Steve locked me in the back of the van and Kirk drove me halfway to Clitheroe. No. Yes. No. Steve wouldn't do something like that. He knows how important this is. Defend him till the cows come home. I know what happened. Yes, and I know Steve. Where's Kirk? In the gents throwing up. I got car sick on the way home. How mad was Sid? Fuming. Yeah, well, he's not the only one. <laughs> right, just give me ten minutes to calm down. I'll get on the phone and start groveling. We need that order. You had a candle to put on that, love. Uh, huh? There's oh. still a long way to go. I oh, know, and I'm not expecting an easy ride, but we will get there in the end, you know. Oh, they look so happy, didn't they? Yeah, it's our job to keep them happy, all of them. Hiya. Hi, love. Hey, how 
from school. OK, yeah. Are you making a cake? I am, yeah. Is it someone's birthday? Uh, nope. Just felt like baking a cake. Something's going on. <laughs> Nothing's going on. I'm not stupid. Uh, no, you're not. In fact, you're very clever because you always do your homework as soon as you get in from school. <sighs> oh, we should tell her the truth. If we do that, then the whole street will know. No, it's best we keep it under wraps for as long as we can. Well, you need to stop grinning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chicken pie and chips, okay? Fine. I didn't make the pie myself, just eating it up. Oh, where's Ruby? She's having a nap. Tried to keep her away, but she couldn't keep her eyes open. Oh, that's okay. Do you want beer or tea with that? I think I might have a beer. Yeah, I might. So, how's your day been? Oh, madness. I spent half of it searching for the boss, only to find that Steve McDonald had locked him in the back of Kirk's van before they set off the clear road. No. <laughs> so he missed a big meeting and spent the rest of the day in the bad mood. It all goes on over there, doesn't it? Mm. How about you? How's your day? Yeah, good. Oh, um, Katie mentioned something about this Super Tykes playgroup. She said Ruby might like it. Is she a bit young for all that? Well, yeah, I thought that, but apparently they play games with her and help develop the coordination and stuff. Are you planning to hothouse our daughter into a little child genius? <laughs> well, if she's inherited her intelligence from my side of the family, she's going to need all the help <laughs> she can get. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Great, I'll give it a go, then. Are you going to soak all day? It takes time to get used to, that's all. What does? Um, you pregnant? Well, that was part of the plan, Tommy. Yeah, well, I was hoping the test to be negative. We could cut our losses and abandon the whole plan. It's better this way. <sighs> really? Look, you saw how thrilled they were. This will literally change their lives and ours. Yeah, well, you're pregnant, Tina. I should be the one who's thrilled, not them. We, we should be making plans, not counting the cash. Do you know what? When I was upstairs doing that pregnancy test and I saw it positive, I thought exactly the same. But then when I saw Gary and Izzy's face... But it, it's not just about us, it's about them. And they are so happy. That's the only thing that's keeping me going. I'll be fine. I just... need some time to adjust, that's all. Yeah, well, you got that. Nine months and counting. Hmm. Mm. Hey. I do love you, you know. Yeah, I know you do. Right, well, better get to work. Work? Well, yeah, I'm only two weeks pregnant. It's no biggie. Come here. Mm. See ya. Bye. Why can't we go? Because I've had a really bad day. So? Give me the chance to cheer you up. Did you not hear what happened? Yeah, you missed an important meeting, but you will fix it because you was brilliant. I can't believe Steve locked you in that van on purpose. I know, it must have been an accident. It was no accident. He knew exactly what he was doing. Well, why would he do it? Because he's jealous. Of what? Of me and Michelle. Hey. Because he thinks that I fancy her. Oh, not you as well. Well, I didn't say anything. It, I haven't got time for this. If you're going to start playing funny games and all, then I'm going to go home. I, I didn't say anything, did I? Just that bloke has really wound me up. Do you think we're doomed to failure? No, I don't. What if Eileen's right? Have you ever had a relationship that came with a cast iron guarantee? <laughs> no. No, me neither. Mm. At the end of the day, it's all just talk. And I don't give a stuff what anyone else thinks because I know what I feel in here. I'm with you because I love you. That's real. And that's all I need to know. Mm. Yeah, same for me. Stuff the lot of him, then. Yeah, stuff him. Day one and still going strong. Mm. And many, many more days to come. <laughs> <laughs> you barely eaten anything. I work at a kebab shop. Next time, don't make so much. I'll see you in the morning. Play nice. All right. Yeah, I'm fine. Seem a bit quiet, that's all. Yeah, sorry. I had a complete disaster at work today. Mm. Really? Yeah. Our big important meeting went pear-shaped. Rob missed it completely and I ended up looking like a total fool. And then, Rob tried to blame you for the whole thing. 
Like you do something as stupid as lock him in the van. Look. <laughs> ah, oh, no. I don't believe it. What? It was you. What was? You locked Rob in the van. Oh, Steve, how could you? It was, uh, it was a joke. It was a joke? We lost a crucial order today because of you, and that's a joke. No. I locked like a total idiot. Is that a joke? No. I mean, my job, maybe that's a big joke to you. No. Do you know what? Carla relies on me and Rob to keep that place going. People's jobs depend on us. We're busting a gut every single day over there, and you seem to think it's just one big funny joke. You don't know what Rob's like. Oh, he's trying to do his job, like I am. And all you're doing is acting like a spoilt, selfish little child. Oh, look, you've been back five minutes and you're taking his side. This is what he wants. When are you going to grow up? Look, there's no point talking to you. No, well, there's not much point talking to you either. Where are you going? Like you care. Oh, Steve. Look, you want Rob, you can have him. So Helen found out she'd be taking on her third Bush Tucker trial, Cruelty Towers, and two new campers are on their way into the jungle. I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, is next. <laughs> 